Hey, how you doing? Uh, today, we're going to be having a little speech on the advantages and disadvantages of public and private transportation. Uh, here, over here, I have my audience. We have uh, three members with us today. Uh, keep in mind, bear with me. They are an audience. Um, you know, they may not be people, but they are an audience, and uh, here they are. We have uh, Mr. Flanagan, we have uh, Mr. Rub Your Chicken, and uh, this is actually just, this is John, so yeah, he's here, he's here with us. Alright, so basically, you ever not have a ride going someplace? It can be a real pain in the butt, can it? You know. Sometimes you're trying to figure out how to get somewhere. It's not working out. Sometimes the place you got to be might be your job. You know, you got to be able to get there. And uh, not having a ride sometimes can be a hassle. Uh, public transportation, you know, it's it's been around for a really long time. It's very affordable. Um, some of the key factors, you know, that make public transportation more affordable is, you know, there, it's it's all over the place. You can catch a train, you can catch a bus, you can catch transit. Uh, there's many ways to get public transportation. The, you know, the disadvantages of public transportation is it, it may not be on your time. Uh, sometimes you have to go to certain places to catch rides at specific times or they are not available. Uh, well, you know, on the other hand, private transportation, it's, it's another way of transportation, but it opens up the door for you in a different way than public transportation does because the, the time that it takes for you to get to places is a lot shorter. Although the, the cost of private transportation is, is a pretty penny to be able to, uh, you know, be able to afford the private transportation. Uh, private transportation, sometimes you may have a car payment involved, you might have car insurance, you need money for gas, you need um, various things, you got to have a driver's license, you need to take a driving test. These are all things, you know, they, they cost money to be able to drive, so, um, you know, a lot of that, what, what you want out of uh, being able to have transportation, you know, Sometimes people have to get to work to be able to, you know, make money. So transportation is a big thing in the uh, job world, which actually makes getting jobs easier, harder, whichever may be in your favor. But um, even though public transportation may not be able to get you anywhere you want as quick enough as they can, it's uh, it's pretty convenient. You know, the United States. They've made transportation pretty extravagant. Uh, you can go just about anywhere as long as you can figure out how to get there. Uh, pretty much, there's there's railroads, there's airplanes, there's so many different ways you can get around the entire world. There is not really a limit unless you know it depends really how much you want to spend. But um, public transportation has made it very easy for an individual to get around than it was, you know, maybe 10, 20 years ago. Um, the thing about public transportation, though, or not, uh, not public transportation, private transportation, if you do have private transportation, this means you're able to, uh, you know, you can come and go on your own time. You're able to make plans. You can make more money. You can work deals into your schedule. You can deliver for your job. You're, you can drive people around for Uber. There's so many different ways nowadays that you can make money while using your own car. But also with private transportation, the biggest thing is that you're on your own time. You know, if you got a place to be and you're waiting around for the bus to come and your buddy's on the other end saying, hey, man, we're trying to get to this movie. It's about to end or it's about to start. And you're saying, hey, I got to 
wait for the bus to come pick me up. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it or, uh, you know, I can't make it into work today because we're not able to, you know, the time that I got to be into work doesn't coordinate with the time I got to get my ride. Now, when you have private transportation, you're able to, you're able to do things like that. You can drive around whenever you want. You can pretty much take into consideration where you have to go and what time. You can make deadlines. You can make things happen. You're able to pretty much put um, your own time frame on things. You know, that's just one of the biggest things of private transportation that makes it so um, so great. The downfall, you know, it does cost a pretty penny to drive privately. Um, but, you know, the thing is, uh, there's many different methods of transportation. There's a lot of different ways you can go about getting from point A to point B. It really just depends on how much money you're trying to spend. In, in my world, time is money. So I'm always going to be on private transportation because that's just the way I roll. But um, public transportation will definitely help you save money. There's no doubt about it. And uh, private transportation will definitely help you get you to where you want to be. So, or where you want to be a lot faster. But the whole um, conclusion to this whole speech is, uh, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of public transportation. So hopefully this was able to, uh, you know, enlighten or give you a little bit of information on how people travel, how people transport around, uh, you know, the United States. Sometimes, you know, in different countries, there are different methods of transportation. You know, this is the United States, so we may not have other things that other countries might have. But um, as far as private and public transportation, um, they will both get you to point A and point B. And uh, public transportation will help you save a lot of money. So if you do um, have any questions or anything like that, you know, just feel free to replay this video. Have a good one.